Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video about a three monitor or three screen setup that I'm currently using to trade indices. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. So I'm going to show you the kind of setup that I'm using currently, which is a three screen setup so you you need to have three monitors to do this if you have two then you'll probably make some choices where you'll get rid of one screen depends on what you'll get rid of and now apart from this i also have two additional screens where i uh, i'm seeing the same data that i have on my live stream every day so during market hours i don't know if all of you know but i do a uh, uh, have a live stream that shows nifty and bank nifty during nifty and bank nifty trading hours and then in the evening it shows commodity uh, like natural gas and crude oil and whatever indicators i'm using on that i also have two screens one screen shows me nifty and midcap nifty the other screen shows me bank nifty and fin nifty now apart from that i also have these three additional screens so let's see what those additional screens do right now this is for people who want to specialize in only one uh, one particular index that is the theme over here so for instance currently i'm focusing on bank nifty unless i've changed my mind so the, the total setup is i'm going to be describing focused on bank nifty if you j decide to use this for nifty or bank nifty or mid cap nifty or fin nifty all you got to do is just select that particular index that you want to trade and make all the screens shift to that that's it settings and everything will remain same so what is the first screen all right so the first screen as you see over here is called the b1 i call it b1 because i'm trading bank nifty at the moment so b1 has got two indicators uh on the left hand side sorry b1 is a split screen which is showing me two windows all the indicators that i'm going to be describing over here i've already discussed uh, uh in the weekend that has just gone by i've illustrated all the indicators and the setup in the weekend uh, that has just gone by all right i'll run through them quickly to this also so here the first is Zurich moving average you all know i have been using most of my subscribers know that i use Zurich moving average it's a moving average that's available on uh, on trading view it's available on dhan uh, and i don't know where else it's available but it's available on dhan so Zurich moving average the setting is the main setting is length at 21 style you can use whatever you want i am using green red and purple red and purple are length four and green is length two that is uh, but the most important is this length is 21 that's the custom setting everything else is same okay then the next one is chandeliers exist the setting is one and two over here everything else remains the same everything is unticked over here and uh, only buy label and sell label is ticked over here atr period one atr multiplier two that's it at the bottom i'm using MACD. 8215 is the setting apart from their histogram i don't use macd is fluorescent green signal is purple and zero line is red bottom two boxes are unticked main setting is over here fast length eight slow length 21 signal smoothing five that is the main setting everything else is unchanged all right so that covers the first screen on the left the second screen is let me just let this be on is again juric moving average with the same setting over here juric is something that i i'll probably be using for one more thing okay so here again juric is the same setting as it is over here here instead of uh chandler's exit that i was using over here i'm using ut bot ut bot the setting is two one two on top and one at the bottom buy and sell is ticked bar color bar color is unticked these two at the bottom are unticked so only buy and sell is ticked input is two and one that's it all right nothing else is being used there's another indicator but i'm not using that so that no use discussing what i'm not using at the bottom i'm using uh, qqe in default settings all right the settings are all default i have only unchecked whatever i don't want to see so most of the things i don't want to see i only want to see uptrend highlighter down trend highlighter and i've made the color from 30 
I have made it 100 the color strength basically for bottom also from 30 I have taken it to 100 so that it's a little more visible everything else is uh, in default settings in input section I have not made any changes all right cancel and then RSI I'm just using to give the borders as you can see RSI I'm not using the RSI line I'm not using the RSI uh, moving average only I'm important for me is this section where I'm using upper 70 that's the upper line below 30 that's the lower line in white center line is at 50 that is the important thing for me you can uncheck whatever else you don't want all right this just gives the uh, qq at the bottom a little more uh, what should i say it provides a reference kind of a thing for you know otherwise this qq looks strange without any uh, lines going across it so i'm just using those lines and i've merged the two and i'm using that so okay so this is the first screen where i've got the page split into again we are watching nifty bank only left hand side also nifty bank right hand side also nifty bank the now let's go to the third and fourth screen so this i call b2 again that was the b1 page this is the b2 page b2 page again on the left hand side i'm using uh Juric moving average and i'm using trend signals Juric moving average the settings are same as the first page trend signals with tp and sl these are the settings just pause the video and mark the settings that you see on the screen bottom two over here is unticked all these colors i have made it black i don't want to see any one of them my background is black so if i make this colors black or zero i don't get to see them what is ticked and what is unticked is shown over here just pause the video and uh copy the settings in the input section these are my settings just pause the video over here and copy it if it's not the same all right okay and nothing else that you see over here is in use so no use discussing them just let's skip all of that trend signals with tp and sl and juric moving average is on the left hand side at the bottom i have the same macd 8215 which i've just shown in the previous page also the settings remain the same in b1 also i had on the left hand side uh, macd 8215 on this also have macd 8215 all right on this side i'm now using ut bots again that i've just uh, discussed in the page which just went by ut bot setting two and one here only buy and sell signal nothing else is ticked all right you can pause the video and copy the setting here i'm using ema 8 sma 20 it's ema exponential moving average 8 which is the year which i believe is the yellow line and sma that is the exponential moving average which is the orange line all right yeah this is the orange line sorry uh, sma is simple moving average that is the dark yellow or orange line the setting is at 20 and ema exponential moving average the setting is at 8 and it's a brighter yellow i don't need to see this also i can get rid of this okay there you go sma also all unticked okay ema 8 sma 20 all right and here so at the top it's showing you all the crisscrosses i've made a separate video uh, called only two moving averages that you will ever need and i uploaded that video i think on friday or saturday just check that video if you want symbol over here every time it crisscrosses this is a trading opportunity and i'm reconfirming that with ut bot at the bottom i'm using uh, ema defense scotch the full name of that indicator is i've been using this for a long time now people who are know my channel will be knowing ema difference and histogram stochastic indicator by wu gam low so people who have been uh, following my channel know this is one of my favorite indicators i'm using it in the default setting no changes made at all all right and that looks like this now why am i using all four of these it kind of gives me uh, a reconfirmation on what i'm seeing all right so if this is showing me and this is showing me and these two are showing me a signal and then this and this if every thing is indicating a cell like over here you see if i park it over here everything is indicating a cell on this page so it's over here everything is indicating a cell right 
this is like three four times i'm confirming then taking and the final screen is where i actually trade so where i actually trade looks like this i've got bank nifty futures on the left uh bank nifty call just any strike price that you find i am generally in the money at the money or in the money and the put price which is at the money or in the money on the right hand side i can also see the futures chart over here and based on that and the other observations i have made i can take a call position or a sell position just by clicking a button it's as simple as that so what are the three screens the first screen is b1 where i'm seeing this all right the second screen is b2 where i'm seeing this and the third screen is where i'm executing the trade which is this how simple is that if you want to know what i'm using on the page where i'm executing the trade also i'm using juric moving average which is 21 i'm using uh, fibonacci pivots these are the settings nothing has been changed fibonacci just choose fibonacci pivots auto 15 is by default i think or you can put in 15 over there colors you choose whatever colors you want to see and then you can use this pivot pivots just provides a kind of a reference at the bottom i'm using macd 3915 over here i may shift it to the other one uh, which is 8215 but for now i'm still using 3915 over here all right and that setting is the same for all the others i think i'm using a vwap also yeah this white line that you see over here is vwap so one thing that you'll notice is for me juric moving average with the length at 21 is very crucial all right most of my trades are based on that and i use the other indicators just to reconfirm that trade the the main key is the juric moving average with the length at 21 so guys i hope this video was helpful to you uh, you know you can pause wherever the uh, where i've explained the indicators and the settings and copy those indicators if you have three screens do that if you have two screens then you can probably you know just um, have this page or just have this page maybe this one because you're getting bugam like this uh, ema defense coach also over here you're getting uh, two emas and uri board also depends on you. you you can have this two page or you know this two whichever one you're more comfortable with i've shown you all four that i'm using and i'm using all of them to see the same index so if i'm trading in bank nifty i will use everything on bank nifty if i shift to nifty i'll just click over here click on nifty click over here click on nifty i'll go to the next page click on nifty i'll click over here click on nifty that's it now i see the same thing for nifty all right and then i'll on my trading page i'll also shift to nifty but it's as simple as that whatever index you want to trade focus only on that and don't focus on anything else you can have a separate monitor as i told you on the other monitor i can see all four indices moving and how they are moving and i'm sharing nifty and bank nifty also in the live stream that i'm doing they're showing me absolutely the same thing that you are seeing on the live stream live stream there may be a delay of 10 15 seconds i can't help that but apart from that this is as simple as this it is you want to trade mid cap just click on mid cap there you go mid cap will come up all right so i'll shift back to bank nifty because my settings are I mean, currently I'm trading Bank Nifty. Here also I shifted back to Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty. But whatever you want to trade, the settings will remain the same. You just need to select the index you want to trade. And on the trading page, choose whatever index you want to trade and trade. All right, guys. So this is the three monitor setup for people who want to specialize on one particular index, have reconfirmations by a couple of indicators telling you all that, okay, yeah, whatever you're thinking is right because all indicators are either showing you a buy or either giving you a sell indication and then finally in the execution page you make that execution and the chances of the setup working are in my view pretty high paper trade with this for a month or two and see how things work out for you all right guys so thank you very much for watching if this video was helpful to you in any form then please like and subscribe to the channel share this video with your family and friends please give this video a thumbs up that really motivates me to make more videos uh leave a nice comment in the comment section if possible also subscribe to our free telegram channel the link is given in the description below in all our videos thanks again i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye